If you want to know how to make viral shorts like these two on screen in the most efficient way possible and completely for free, this video is perfect for you. And the best part is after making these videos, you can post them on Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok, tripling your income supply with the exact same amount of work. And to show you just how easy this is, I'll walk for an example right now with you guys, and I'll even put a stopwatch up here to prove how quick this is. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to source your gameplay. And this is super, super easy to do. All you have to do is hop on YouTube and type in Aesthetic GTA gameplay, Aesthetic Minecraft gameplay, and make sure you add a non-copyright above. And throughout all your searches, pick a few you like and select them. To download this video for completely free, copy the link in the top corner, then go over to y2mate.com and paste the link in there. Make sure you select MP4, as this will do a video rather than an audio, then click download. So now you have the gameplay sorted, you now need to source clips that will be the main part of your video. And for this, you have three different options. Your first option is to source the ready-made clips on YouTube. For example, if I was to do a niche around the Sidemen, I'll type in Sidemen shorts in the YouTube home bar, and there's plenty of shorts ready for me to use. Just like before, I can find a video I like, click on it, and then download it using the link, just like I did for the gameplay. Your second option is if you have a video that you like, a long one, that a clip hasn't been made from yet, you can actually screen record on your phone the part you want the clip to be about, and then either airdrop it if you have another Apple device or send it over via email or another form of attachment. And finally, the third method uses a bit of AI. It uses the website video.ai. For this website, you get 75 minutes to use completely free each month when you sign up. How this website works is that you drop in any YouTube video you want to generate clips from and video.ai will automatically create clips for you and caption them as well. For example, I'm using my own football channel where I talk about football. Feel free to check out if you also enjoy football. And as you can see, plenty of clips have been generated. You can select whether you want it to be in portrait mode, landscape mode for widescreen YouTube videos, or splits as well. And within each one, you can then customize the font, the text, and the captions. All three methods work completely fine. The main thing is to just export your clips once you're done, so they're on your phone slash computer. So you've got your gameplay and you've got your clips. This is where the magic starts, the editing. For this, I use CapCut. I've already got it downloaded on my PC, but you can also use it on your phone. It works just as well. Now we're in CapCut. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to edit these clips. So first we need to import everything into CapCut. Click import right here. And as you can see, if I go to documents, I've got both my clips ready to go. I've chosen one of the Sidemen clips as they're a popular YouTube group, but it should be easy to edit. So we've got the gameplay and we've got the clip here. Let's start the gameplay, drag it into your timeline. Now, 11 minutes is far too long, so I'm gonna find somewhere where I believe the gameplay will be quite good. Why not around, yeah, you know what, let's, let's do this next car right here. So, I find here, I click, and I'll make sure to split the clip. Therefore, everything before can get deleted. Now we can scroll in a good minute or so, I mean, we won't need that far long, but you know, we'll do 30 seconds, because the clip isn't that long. Chop that, as you can see, we've now got the full clip ready and afterwards we've also got a bazinga clip as well now we want to make sure that the summon clip goes above as an overlay to the gameplay clip but first before we need to change the ratio as you can see the clip is currently in a video format this is not for short form content this is very easy to do on CapCut. you see where it says ratio you click there and you change it to 9 by 16 as you can see it's now the shape of what a short form content would look like so then let's zoom in using the right panel on the right hand side so you can see uh, just a bit more clearly what's going on and if I drag the Bazinga clip over the gameplay as you can see they both overlay each other this is exactly what you need so now you can put both of them side by side if you put it to the side here they just play one after each other each other for example if I go here and click play you'll see one video followed by the other video that's not what we want we want them both on top of each other so I put the gameplay up here so you can see them side by side now first thing is I want to mute the the gameplay of GTA as well because that's not necessary for this clip so I bring the volume all the way down to zero I could I could equally have done this to mute clip audio so everything in this line would be muted and also I need to make sure they're both of equal distance apart so that the clip at the end of the day looks like people want to watch it because no one wants to watch a clip that looks like this right now and there's two ways to do this so the old-fashioned way which I tend to do is I start the gameplay at the bottom and I bring it out to about halfway that'll do and then for the clip on top I do the same thing Bear in mind, because the clip is on top of the GTA gameplay, it will cover everything. So I have to make sure that I bring it around just over halfway, a bit more, and there we go. That's the game. That's that's the gameplay below, and the clip on top looks perfectly fine. Now another way you can do this is by using the mask function, 
which I personally don't love to be honest. You can go mask and then you can go in split and it will basically split both of them. Halfway, have, however you want to choose it, like this, like that. That's another way to do it. I don't personally do it that way. I just do it the old fashioned way. They both work. So the clips here, as you can see, if I run through and the GTA gameplay is underneath, everything looks good so far. But as you can see, the gameplay is just a bit too long. So let me trim that down so it's the right amount. And I can zoom in to make sure that it's exactly in line with the gameplay here. So there we go. They're both in line with each other. Now we need to get onto the captions. So thankfully, CapCut does captions automatically for you. So if I go up here to text and then to auto captions, not in Chinese, in English, and click create, CapCut will start cooking up the captions completely free for us. So let's take some time for them to do that. And there we go, the captions are done. As you can see, if I scroll over here, you can see the captions, but they look a bit crap right now. Let's be honest with it, we should improve this. So I personally like to use the bold fonts. This is not automatically on your PCs. To do this, head over to dafont.com and say the bold font, and you should be able to download it free there. Then it will appear within your CapCut. You might have to actually close down CapCut first, then relaunch it again for it to appear. So then let the bold font appear. And also these are the settings I like to use. Font size 20. I then like to make sure the stroke is 56. And then head down to shadow and do opacity 100%, blurriness 80%, distance 20 and angle negative 43 degrees that's perfectly what i like to use as you can see the font's a bit more obvious now the only problem is too many words so to do that head over to the captions tab and what i'm going to do is then i'm going to hit enter so it makes a new line every time i want a new caption so i can do it like this for example and i'm going to drag up so it's in the center and because here i've enabled apply to all Every time I drag up, it'll show for every single caption. As you can see right here, perfectly working. You might need to adapt the actual caption sometimes if they're not perfectly what the character is saying. This one's pretty good. Sometimes cap cut for the most part is decent. 90 to 90%, 90 to 95% of the time is pretty good. But one or two times the captions do mess up a little bit. Here you can edit it, you can go back and change whatever you want to change. For the most part, it's pretty decent. And the timing as well, for example, say this needs to come more down here. This needs to come down here. You can listen and try and edit that and it'll be perfectly fine. But sometimes CapCut does mess up a little bit in that respect. For the most part, it's perfect. So now we've got that. Now something else you can do is you can change the color of certain letters. So what you have to do is you select it, go over to text, highlight that word. And if you come down to color, I can then press, for example, this. And as you can see, that word will be a different color. You can do this to multiple different words in the caption if you like, just to add some more feel to it. And you can also add an animation to these words as they come up. For example, you can have it throw out like this, which will obviously make it more appealing. But that, for the most part, is the captions done. Now you can also add a tag. I know a lot of people do this. I do it sometimes on my posts as well, where you can add actual text along the screen as well at the bottom to say your TikTok page, your YouTube page, Instagram page, etc. Therefore you're watermarking it. So if someone else steals your content, it will at least have your tag there so that everyone knows, okay, they've taken it from this page. Now, like I said, this is optional. You can just write in your tag here, for example, at Sidemen, if I was actually working for the Sidemen. And then therefore every single clip, if I drag this out for the whole clip, you can see that, that remains there the whole time. Like I said, that's this is not compulsory, but it's optional for some people. But one thing you should do to make sure that your clips are monetizable is add some edits. So I go to effects up here and I personally like to use the sharpen edges one. It's a very subtle effect, but what it does do is it enables the screen to just look a slightly different, not like the normal picture. It's obviously been edited a little bit, but it's a very subtle edit that is not gonna throw someone off that wants to watch it, but still classes itself as a new edit. So that is practically everything you need for your clip to run. After that, you just have to click export and also make sure that where it says over here, you don't click caption exporting. Otherwise, that's a pro feature. Make sure you turn that off and then click export and you're all ready to go. And there we have it. With a few extra edits, here's the end product. Put your hands up if I'm good looking. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Cross. Cross. Yeah. Knowing this skill is absolutely game changing, especially for creating content to help you get into the TikTok creativity program, which is blowing up recently. But truthfully, it's only one piece of the puzzle. I'll be dropping even more social media tips for completely free on this channel, so you have to subscribe down below and importantly hit the bell notification button so you never miss any future uploads. And in the meantime, you must check out the video right here where I talk through the nine most monetizable niches on TikTok right now. I've been Dennis, I appreciate your company throughout this video and hope to catch you all in my next one. Take care.